वांग वांगी से सूत दस आई हैव हर्ड ऑन वन ओकेशन द ब्लेसड वन वॉज डिंग एट आल अवी एट द अगाल छेतिया नाउ ऑन दैट ओकेशन वेनरेबल वांगी से प्रिसेप्ट द एल्डर नी ग्रो द खप had recently attained final nibbana at the agalava chetia then while the venerable wangisa was alone in seclusion the following reflection arose in his mind did my preceptor attain final nibbana or not in the evening when he emerged from seclusion the venerable wangisa approached the blessed one paid homage to him and sat down to one side seated to one side the venerable wangisa said to the blessed one here bante while i was alone in seclusion the following reflection arose in my mind did my preceptor attain final nibbana or not then having risen from his seat he arranged his upper robe over one shoulder reverentially saluted the blessed one and addressed the blessed one in verse we asked the teacher of perfect wisdom the cutter off of doubts in this very life a bhikkhu passed away at agalava one well known famous inwardly quenched negro the kappa was his name which you blessed one gave to the brahmi energetic he lived intent on release paying homage to you the one who shows the durable o sakya we too all wish to know about that disciple o universal eye fully attentive our ears are ready to hear you are our teacher you are unsurpassed cut off our doubt tell me this announce he attained nibbana you of broad wisdom speak up in our midst o universal i like thousand i sakka among the devas whatever knots are here parts of delusion factions of ignorance bases of doubt on reaching the tathagata they no longer exist for he is the supreme eye of humans if no man would ever dispel the defilements as a wind might dispel a mass of clouds the entire world would be enshrouded utter darkness and even brilliant men would not shine but wise men are markers of light i consider you o hero to be such a one knowing we come to one endowed with insight in the assemblies disclose to us the fate of kappa quickly send forth your lovely voice o lovely one like a goose that has stretched out gently honk with your rounded voice well modulated we are all upright let us hear you he has abandoned birth and death entirely 
having passed the pure one. I will make him speak the Dhamma, for worldlings cannot act on their wishes, but for the Tathagata's action is based on comprehension. This excellent declaration of yours has been accepted as coming from one of upright wisdom. This last reverential salutation is offered. Knowing, do not delude us, you of perfect wisdom. Having understood the noble Dhamma from top to bottom, knowing, do not delude us, O one of perfect energy. As one afflicted by heat in summer longs for water, I long for your word, so pure, down the sound. Was the beneficial spiritual life that Kapayana led not lived in vain by him? Did he attain Nibbana or did the residue remain? Let us hear just how he was liberated. He cut off craving here from name and form, said the Blessed One. The stream of the Dark One that had long lay dormant. He crossed over birth and death entirely. Thus spoke the Blessed One, Chief of the Five. Having heard your word, I am pleased, O best of Rishis. Indeed, my question was not in vain. The Brahmin did not deceive me. The Buddha's disciple was one who acted in accordance with what he said. He cut through the net of death, extended tightly by the deceiver. Kapya, O Blessed One, saw the origin of clinging Kapayana, indeed overcome, the domain of death so hard to cross. Mm -hmm.